Dead. Screaming. Lots of screaming. Much pain. So we regrouped that. with the year ones. We made our way towards the mountain pass and we got a quick breather in where we uh Caster showed us a rather tranquil, gorgeous, idyllic spot with flowing waters and bright sunshine and verdant fields. We enjoyed it for a little while. Notice that the year ones are having a bit of a uh, complaining murmuring amongst themselves. Didn't address that because uh, we had a visitor, I guess you could say they are, a bird. Some sort of probably familiar. Consider how there's nothing else that's normal and living in this entire fucking city. An owl of ill omen, you could say. An owl of ill yeah. omen. We interacted with it. It pecked at Gregor, which is... I don't know if it pecked at you to confirm answers or to deny suppositions. I, I, don't, I don't know. Whichever one it was. I have a gift for this. Hmm. I feel like it was probably confirmed. Probably? I don't know. My ghosts are beyond your understanding. <laughs> Anyways, um... Once we finished interacting with the bird, the year ones apparently had a bit of a, well, not the year ones, all of them, but Ch Chani and Quentin had a bit of a brawl in the water. And when we went to go investigate, they were all being pretty, pretty tight-lipped about it. Couldn't want to push for, you know, hey, why are you guys fighting? Because any break right now will cause a break when something bad is happening. Like, I don't know. We have to go fight something really dangerous in approximately 48 hours or less. Everyone still is pretty tight-lipped about it. And by the end of it, it was, all right, fine, we'll let it sit. Uh, Logan talked to Clint about if he's feeling all right, which Clint didn't really have much of a response for that. Um, Caster and Doran uh, put forward their two portfolio options, so to speak, of how should we traverse up this faced couple or few thousand foot tall mountain that the side path is carved into. Uh, Doran being our voice of uh, clinical calculated reason did put forward that Caster's path, while it might work, is r potentially rife with danger. To be fair, they're both rife with danger, but this one especially simply because Caster just seems out of it. Regardless, we picked that path. And then we went up. We ascended this winding stairway or bridgeway. Managed to make us a uh, set of some uh, stable ground, some plateaus, where we interacted with some funky mushrooms, which produced a caustic cloud of. Acidic? Spores? Caustic? Is it spores? Well, it's caustic because it did acid, so... It burned. But were they spores? Or was it just a chemical they released? Was it yeah, different? Well, I mean, yeah. It's, both are applicable. Okay. Uh, but whether or not this was a designed part of their ambush or just something they happened to capitalize off of, we got swarmed. We got swarmed bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, the acid knows. clouds rolled in. <clears throat> they separated clouds. us into three different groups. Uh, whenever one of the uh, smaller, uh, what were they called? Something mites? Yeah. Pestermites? 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 Yes, pestermites. Pester you. <laughs> I was going to say pest uh, in mites. <laughs> I was like, no. Uh, every time one of them died, uh, everyone within 10 feet would. Uh, get a, a debuff that stacked with uh, all the other ones that die within 10 feet so it was, yeah, it was uh, very dangerous because it was yeah, like a minus one to your AC minus one to deck saves <laughs> yeah one layer was like minus to your AC and dex and then the other was just like acid uh, damage over time yeah, yeah. right uh, that was spend, if like, they attacked effectively to get rid of it if I roughly remember correctly 
That's what I did. To get rid of all of it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Well, I'm... Mean, it didn't really come into effect too much on me specifically. Uh, except for <laughs> when I was in a... I was in the Thunderdome with Briggy. Um... Which reminds me, uh, one of the things, uh, the bigger ones, not the huge ones, uh, were able to... Oh, wait, no, it was the huge ones that were able to clone people. Yeah. Uh, symbiosis? Or no, no. Mimeoplasm, shut up. Mimeoplasm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we immediately pointed out, it's like, why are there goo people? And we quickly discovered why they're goo people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Briggy was cloned, uh, Caster was cloned, was that it? Is there one more? Uh, Mule, but he was uh, immediately dispatched. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah he, he doesn't have the greatest defensive capabilities, it turns out. <laughs> so fun fact, and they copied you at whatever HP you were. Oh, uh, oh, oh, so they copied a fresh Briggy and Caster. <laughs> Correct. Goo Briggy like KO'd people, and Goo Caster actually like got a kill. Where were two? <laughs> they were menace. Uh, Goo Briggy Brigu was uh dispatched when uh God uh smote her. Uh, no, uh, dug underneath her. Uh, like on this dirt platform, and she just kind of fell down the mountain. Uh, which Penguin isn't dead. Dude. Yeah, she technically isn't dead. Fall. She's yeah, still she's still she has a slow fall esque ability or a feather fall esque ability. Oh, she's and out of our hair for now. He's out of our hair for the foreseeable future. <laughs> New big bed. Goo Briggy. Just shows up every so often and we're just like, oh god, shove her back in the hole. Shove her in the hole. Get rid of her. She's not a true dwarf, she can't dig right. Don't forget, we also had to do with the uh, Fume Spore Knight, I think is what his name was. Who walked down the stairway menacingly at us. Elden, Elden <laughs> Ring music plays. It, it spent most of its time getting towards us, and the time that it didn't spend getting towards us, it was spent fucking murdering the Christ out of Logan. Well, almost murdering. Um, he got goaded, and that caused him to charge across the very small bridge that he ended up breaking. Um, and but, Khan was like, in a bad way because he yeah, had gotten take, swarmed. Taking two steps back from that, on the rightmost island, yeah, Khan just got swarmed. He got bullied. <laughs> like, the, these pest mites were like, hey, the hobgoblin, fuck him up. <laughs> the rest of us weren't, like, great, but, like, he took the, the brunt of it to the point where he went down first. Bradford tried to get him kind of out of there, proceeded to also go down, like, halfway across the bridge. Like, halfway across the bridge. Uh, Caster's clone. Caster. Oh, right, no, he didn't go down for the Pester Mite. He went down because the Caster clone beat the shit out of him. Uh, either way, Bradford got, ran across the bridge. Uh, Big Dude came in, smacked Logan. Or Logan. Uh, and then Goo Caster went and just mopped that up. Uh, Big Guy started running across the bridge. And Con and Bradford were still on there. Bridge obviously, bridge probably wasn't like safe to support just like Con and Bradford, considering how fucking old it was. It's not gonna support that thing. Uh, they start falling. Um, but Con uh, decides to save Bradford, which was a stupid idea, stupid asshole. Fuck him. He made me live with this. Uh, and basically just did a did a one eighty of just like, oh, you were falling, now I'm falling instead. You get the momentum to get back up there. Uh. Just about the same time that I slash Bradford realized, oh, there's something else underneath the bridge in the clouds and stuff. Which, I think it was called just the Spore Queen. Very simple name. Very not good. So, we see one big bad monster falling down. One big bad monster coming up. Goobriggy launching down. Uh, Spore Queen grabs Khan. Starts running away. Uh, uh, what the fuck? There it is. Flora. Flora ends up shooting out the tentacles that is holding on to Khan. He falls to his <laughs> Khan's last session without this text. <laughs> uh, yeah, Khan falls to his presumed death. There's like a 0.001% chance that he might be alive somehow, but he's, he's fucking dead. We hope he's dead, frankly. Um, 
Zoe before that ended up being killed. That yeah, they got super uh, swarmed. Yeah. yeah, the recruits were getting swarmed. Uh, Gregor stayed back to try and help them. Uh, Clint came in and honestly saved some of the recruits, probably. I, I, I Honestly, if I rolled better on that freaking thunderous damage, I think I probably would have... I had their... The thing is, we didn't know at that point killing them made them pop. So I don't know if that would have been better or worse. But yeah. Zoe still got put down. Yeah. I remember Clint almost fell to his death, and then I was able to boost him all the way. That last D8 saved my ass. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, and then when, when the Spore up, Queen was out, um, Gregor and Clint enacted uh, their crazy stunt to knock her off the mountain. It sort of worked. I think she still ended up getting second grip uh, later down, though, right? Somewhere so, here, maybe. but she was out of our hair for now. Uh, there, there was. I will point out there was a there was a scene over here with a uh, Carolyn trying her best to protect these guys from the giant spore queen, which is commendable <laughs> to say the least. It's like ah, they're not gonna die. I'm gonna die first, but they're not. I'm gonna try and make sure they don't die. I like that. He's over. Um, the session, it turns out, was just a lot of no, no me, Uno, Uno reverse. You're not dying, I'm dying. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, no. you're bringing it up. <laughs> I will die valiantly. <laughs> you stay, I go. Uh, Iron Giant, that. Uh, yeah, and then Spore Queen is off the board. The mist is, mist, fog, murder clouds are being handled. Uh, Caster ends up cleaning up this side of the thing. Uh, we decide... Well, it was Clint. Clint decides to try and revivify people. Uh, turns out, I believe Caster knew that Briggy had a scroll of revivify. revivify um, and we decide uh, Zoe first, because if we bring back Logan, he will be unbelievably pissed that we did not bring back the kid, you know? Uh, Clint tries to break the amber. It doesn't even seem to be scratched. By everything he, we could throw at it, it didn't even get a dent. <laughs> uh, so, Khan fell to his death. Logan was bludgeoned and stabbed. And Zoe saw the other side. Which, we didn't tell them. But they know. Cast out of the back now. We're kind of in the clear. We didn't tell Let me ask you this. Yet. Is it? Memory check. Is it out the bag? I have no idea what you mean. Okay, fair enough. Moving on. Is what out the bag? Also, what the fuck? These these change position now? The little icons? What? What? What did? Oh, what oh yeah, I put them on the side. You can Yo! Do that? Yeah. For what? You go right I over here. Jericho's token. Settings. And, oh. Um, yeah, you oh, you could do that? Well. That's so much better. Uh, How do you do that? It's so much easier to see. Yeah, if over in settings, let me find where it is again. Right. Personalization right. style, token marker position. You can in put the it, campaign setting? Uh, or like the uh, editor setting? The cog. Okay. In my settings, personalization and display, token marker position here. Alphabetically sort token. I don't. It might just be a GM thing. So yeah, I'll, it, I'll, 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 I yeah, it is a GM thing. It must be. Okay, I'll go. I'll go do that in the other campaign because I. That's. I didn't realize they added that. That's so much. Better. Also, you can collapse your uh, traits and stuff on your sheet now, like the ideals and uh, bonds and stuff like that. You can collapse that and buy get like a couple of inches of space back. Hmm. I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do the left side. I'm gonna do that with Bradford because he has so much shit. Yeah, I, I put him there because. It it, it's it's it'll be relevant. Yeah, it's just perfect. <laughs> sure. It I doesn't that's cover our heads anymore. Uh, so anything else? Oh yeah, sorry, did. Uh, I think that was everything. Right? Okay, I uh, think so. so. Remind you of something you might be forgetting. When did y'all wake up after coming back from the other side? Nine months. Ma. Well, not nine months. Well, we didn't wake up nine months. <laughs> Come. Months later. Uh, months. Later. Yeah. 
We woke so, up real fucked up at the first right. time. Right. A lot Is of muscle. Is the cat out of the bag? Okay, so Zoe's real fucked up right now. Okay, I see what you're saying. No, I think what he's saying is the opposite. They say we're queer. She didn't, she didn't She's getting revived it. right now, so they they basically held us in a state of semi death, <laughs> I guess, for those that time, so we can get me there. Um, explain it. Just explain it in simpler terms, because we're it's not you, you, or don't. Being there for less than a minute was enough to put you out of commission for the better part of a year. She isn't going to be telling anyone what's on the other side of that for at least half a year. Okay, so she is going to be real fucked up. Correct. So you might need another mule sack. Yeah, I was going to say, so she's out of the count. Right, she's like basically in like a coma. Catatonic. Essentially. Mm -hmm. um, the, so that, as long as her body so isn't stabbed to death she'll live that's yeah that that is where we pick up um as you see this revivify spell finish casting you see from under her mask black ichor start being coughed out wait a second that's familiar wait a second okay hmm As you see her twitch for a few seconds and then return to a state of unconsciousness. Uh, I'm going to move these tokens now, but uh, just a quick question. Do y'all see anything peculiar? I see what I'm tell you. On, on the map, anything peculiar? Uh... <laughs> What, the bridge here? No. Uh, are we supposed to? Or? It's okay if you don't. You can. Okay. You you're supposed to. It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to make sure if you're asking if. I feel like this mask is different. The one on the bottom there's, right. There's maybe black goo or something up here. There's a weird mushroom. No, I think don't worry about that. Up thing. This mushroom I don't entirely remember, but. I... That's uh, the mountain's butthole, actually. There's no collapse tree. Is there a dot? Is there a, is there a, is there a mole on the mountain over here? What is this? No, don't worry, Al. No, that's just perspective. That's a flying leaf. Perhaps I'll explain in time. Is this always here? It was. Something it's nothing on the map. That was something else. This mask. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's already gone. Is this mask oh. crying? Oh, well, you should have done that. <laughs> Yay! Fucking with us. <laughs> That's okay, just just curious if anyone caught it. So, um... Wait, where is he? Where's the boy? There he is. The boy? Actually, I don't even think he would. Oh, well, he'd need to scrape the acid off himself or he's gonna die. So I suppose everyone probably does that. You scraped yeah, the acid. I'm assuming... Flora scrapes the acid off of Rex. So he doesn't, you know, die. Best boy. So, what do y'all do? Y do? Uh, I got something I want to do. Uh, these uh, pester mites... This will be happening while everything with low gain is happening. I don't. I don't want to take away from that. Um, these pester mites, when they died, did, did they actually like explode? Yes, they popped. Is there any way I can collect the any remnants of them? Yes, absolutely. There's bits of them all on the ground. Is Erica doing that right now? Actually. I'm glad you mentioned Erica, because I think he'll... Does she seem terribly distraught by all that's happening here? Not particularly, no. Yeah, so, uh, he'll approach her, uh... I mean, you're all like, masks and full kit. Yeah, so it's hard to... No facial, uh... recognition. 
Um, you do though as you move over to her. What happened? She's not collecting anything. She is sort of standing there, like holding each of her hands in front of her. Uh, quietly, he'll uh, sidle up next to her and just kind of lean to the side towards her and say, uh, we should probably uh, collect the answer these things are spewing. Might come in handy down the line. She just looks over to you. We'll get to that in a moment. He'll nod and get to it now. He doesn't have emotional attachment. He could just do what he wants. Mm hmm. Okay. So, anyone else? Or do you get ready to move on? Mm. Are we taking a short rest? Or are we just pushing? That's up to you. Um, Can we see, like, if the Spore Queen is, like, coming back up this way? You don't hear anything, but you can roll Perception. Uh, I'm gonna roll at disadvantage, because it is not what his stop press is on. Would it possibly be a survival about tracking monsters? Damn it, Bradford. Uh, not really. Damn. Um, 23? No, you hear nothing. It's not really tracking if there's no monster around. Yeah, that's fair. You see, um, Doran is trying to break through this locket in any way he can. But as the seconds go by, he just suddenly stops. looks at the locket for another second, gets up and hands it back to you. Take it back. <sighs> One minute passed. He just does a slight nod. Yeah. I figured... Right, well, we ought to take 15 here, get your breath, see what we can scrounge from his equipment. Uh, I'm assuming uh, no one moves to immediately loot their fallen brother. Correct. We need to start a fire. Can't leave his body for things like this. You do see Michael just sort of kneels down next to him and grabs his hand and just holds it sitting there. Uh, Jericho will take a knee, grab his other hand. And start undoing his bracer. As you start undoing it, you feel a hand on top of yours. Who's As you see Caster's gauntlet holding tightly to your wrist. 
have a little bit of decency. His eyes travel up and up and up towards Caster's. And he says, We don't have time for decency. Caster will find our time tomorrow later. Remember there, our oaths. We gotta take care of our equipment. He just like looks around and there's just not a lot of not a lot of objection to the logic y'all are putting forward. At least have the decency to give him some privacy. I'm not gonna strip the fella. But we need to take what we can use. Give me his ring. <laughs> Is that on the hand that Jericho's holding, or Michael? Sure. Uh, you know what? Michael. It's funnier that way. <laughs> what do you do? I thought Michael was going to hand it over to him. Oh, no, I see. see. <laughs> Michael. Michael. He just looks up at you. I know your heart's heavy right now. Mine is too. But we can't stay... If we stay, more people will get hurt. We can't leave his equipment behind because it might save people later. We won't be leaving his body. We'll give him a proper play. Who would even use his equipment? I don't know, Gregor. I don't know. But the first off is where it is. We're taking it. How we would want him to keep his weapon. Logan used a mall, correct? Correct. Do any of the year ones use a mall? I think only the maybe closest one is Mule, but I think he uses an axe. Uh, he has an axe that's a half hammer, half axe. Byron uses a long spear. Calliope uses a great sword. I try to get one of them like a plus one weapon. Effectively, or no. We can name his weapon. I think if anyone ever does stumble upon Logan's grave, I think it'd be happy to. Help one last time. Personally, I think that a weapon going to the disuse. Well, a bit of a waste. But you knew him better than I did. It would be going to waste taken with us. None of us use that sort of stuff. He was. He was the only one. Just think of it like... Less than a burden. You just see Poi like reach down and put it in his hands, clasp it over his chest. Supposed to see the waves with me, brother. You 
just like looks down at him. I hope even in whatever is beyond here, you find in that family you lost. He stands up. We should be getting moving. We're giving them that fire. Has Goddard dug a grave over here? As you look over, he comes over. The grave has been dug. Whatever you want, proceed. I don't know if I want to give him a dirt grave, given these things can burrow. Just someone let me get some firewood, please. Right, drop down two trees over there. What's another one? Perhaps we might use a bit of caution. Just because... The spores have subsided for the moment. Does not mean they will not return. We should move, sir. That thing can make copies out of us. You don't think leaving a fresh body behind is a bad idea? I did not suggest as such, but perhaps we use more chemical measures. Fine. Worth noting when it copied Mule, it copied his wounds too. Not sure what it can do with the corpse. Especially one so damaged. I don't want to find out. If you say so. Chemical solution. Looks to whoever said that. Doran just looks over to Erica. I trust you have something you can do. I can put something together. Alright. Grab his kit. I'll start undoing his armor. I just gonna try to pull Michael away and just sort of like side hug him, just sort of pat him on the shoulder, just sort of looking away. Oh, he was wired, that's why. <laughs> why does he look like he has acromegaly? You're damn right what he now? was. A acromegaly is what happens when you get a tumor on your brain in late adolescence that causes excrete extra growth hormone that makes you excessive. Duh, Garth. It means you get a really big head and you kind of look like a caveman. Mm -hmm. okay, there zug, zug. Well, he has plus one playmail, a maul, several potions that will soon to be inert. You can take the vials, leave the maul, grab the armor. Uh... He Potions soon to be inert. Any of them healing? Yes, absolutely. He has one healing, two poison. These are his uh, alchemist stock, right? Correct. Uh, throw to the alchemists. Uh, how long before these poisons are inert? Uh, yeah, Erica would look at it. Better part of it. Better part of a day? Okay. Uh, and the potion heals for how much? One solid d6 plus two. One d6 plus two. All That's right. been all one place. <laughs> uh, I, I have 12 HP. Anyone mind if I just take this? Uh, you do also see he has a stopwatch on it. Oh. 
Is it wound? As you look at it, it's uh, a compass 